Hey up, kid. Yes. Sit down. Steady, 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 steady. Good boy. See, you can do it. I'll do. Welcome to a wet Sunday. I weren't going to do a vlog this morning. I've got a video going up tonight. Instantly, guys. Um, anybody thinks they've got a story, a life story to tell, which is what's going up tonight. Nothing to do with prison, nothing to do with drugs. Get in touch with the channel, Real Porridge at Outlook.com. Just let me duck under here, guys. So I've been asked a question by a, hey up kid, young in service, let me alter the angle a bit, come on Stevie, a young in service officer, um, I don't know their age, so they've seen something that they thought was inappropriate, I had a couple of videos up about whistleblowing that I took down. Um, I'm going to talk about them again for people to understand the processes in prison, whether you're an officer or a prisoner. So before I start today, um, let me tell you about a squaddy. Been talking to this lad for a while. This is probably, I've lost track of time me, I know it's August. Probably back end of last year, we last talked. Uh, been in army for 10 years. Uh, he was in a London Nick. Stevie. He was in a London Nick, been at job six months. He was enjoying it. This morning, alarm bell. Not an alarm bell, sorry, a cell bell. Emergency cell bell. So in every prisoner's cell, there's a bell you can press to alert staff. It's called emergency cell bell. You're only supposed to press it in emergencies. So this lad, this cell, has pressed his bell a couple of times already. Um, this is the squaddy telling me, giving me a bit of a backstory on this. He's got some medical issue. He's in a lot of pain. He's due to see healthcare that morning. Um, he'd already visited his cell, spoke to him through the observation panel and he said the lad was in some discomfort anyway. A senior officer, again, for those people who aren't sure, prison officer, senior officer, is a wing manager, next step up, principal officer, next step up and then governor. Principal officers are now called CMs, it's all the same. So the senior officer came onto the wing. The wing was locked down. Another officer who was working with the squad, he complained about this lad. He's pressed his bell three times. So the senior officer, two other lads, and the squaddy are, are off to have a word with this lad. The wing's locked down. So the senior officer, um, Goes to the cell, goes straight in first. Ask who's pressed the cell bell, there's two lads in there. Got the other lad out of the cell and then punches this lad in the face. The other two join in, give him a beating. So the squad is stood at the doorway. I will tell you now, Prison officers, some prison officers, um, will have no problem with that. They won't. I don't have to say it goes without saying, uh, that's not right. You're not above the law. Um, back in the day when people were getting beatings left, right and centre, not everyone participated. A lot saw things, a lot got out of the way, a lot looked the other way. Uh, don't mean they were all bad people. I'll talk about that again later. But it did happen. Anyway, back to the office after the squaddy, yeah? Senior officer, what's your fucking problem? 
Yeah, this is what you mean. Why didn't you come in the cell? Why didn't you back us up? The squad, he says, there was no need for that behavior. One of the others, why didn't you back us up? The squad, he says to him, what's your problem? Argument ensues, yeah? Squad eight is then left on his own. By the end of the day, the people he's coming into contact with him are not eyeballing him and not speaking to him, yeah? He went to uh, another member of staff, said what had happened, someone he thought he could speak to. They said, you need to learn to keep your gob shut, yeah? We then had the conversation. I told him about processes. Um, I didn't advise him. I told him what the processes were. It weren't for me to say. He decided there and then that he couldn't do that. He couldn't be part of that. He couldn't go along with that. He left the job very soon after, um, which was the right decision for him. It's a very difficult one, this, like I said, somebody else has asked me about inappropriate behaviour. I will talk about whistleblowing, I've talked about it before in the prison service. Um, for me, coppers, prison service, there's no such thing as whistleblowing. If you stick your head above the parapet, yeah, you become a thorn in management's side. My own situation which I will talk about again I'll do a really um, structured video about it well not that structured talk about the processes I went through the last two videos I did that I deleted you know they were quite emotional and passionate but it's the procedures and that that people want to know about so when I was on K-Wing I had a senior officer who liked punching people for no reason. Um, it went to investigation. Obviously, I was part of that investigation. Two conversations. So my POA, Prison Officer Association rep, yeah, who was going in to the disciplinary with me, yeah, he said to me, he got my statement, I've read your statement, you might have got this guy, this is the senior officer, the sack. So I looked at him in the eye and I said, perhaps the fact he's going around punching people for no reason might have got him the sack. He said nothing, yeah? I told him to go away, I didn't want him in the disciplinary. Anyone, this is good advice, if anybody pulls you, prison officer, whatever, into an office for a chat, and it's gonna be a serious chat, maybe about your conduct or something like that, take somebody with you, anybody, yeah? So somebody else is hearing what's said. This guy who was going in my disciplinary with me, I didn't want him there, yeah? He realized what he'd said after that. He still would have said it, yeah? He went very quiet, there was a governor there also, the governor said to me, we've never had this before, I knew exactly what he meant. So I said, what's that, Gov? He says, well, you know, this what's happening now. I says, what's happening? What, me reporting a senior officer for inappropriate behaviour, punching people for no good reason, just because he can? Yeah, is that what you mean, Gov? He started walking away. No percentage now, me and him. Me, I'm on my high horse. Where are you going, Gov? Not answering me. Gov, answer me question. Not answering me. I says, let's go to the number one. Number one is in charge of the jail. At that time, the number one governor was Bob On. He was a cracking governor. Again, no percentage for that governor. Yeah, he knew where I was at. He walked off, nothing to say. The investigation and everything else that surrounded that senior officer who was punching people, yeah, I was supported, that is unusual. I worked on K-Wing, all the staff on K-Wing knew what was going on and supported me. They didn't say anything, but they supported me. So I was supported 
in that investigation by my colleagues on K-Wing, yeah? The rest of the prison all turned their backs on me. It's a tough gig. So going back to the original thing, someone's contacted me about something that's happened. So next week, whistleblowing, procedures, how it works, It's very difficult going against the system, I'll tell you now. There's a young lad now I know who's out of the job as a prison officer. Yeah, because he challenged people over their inappropriate behaviour. It was turned back on him. His behaviour, how he managed an incident was put into question. He was disciplined and dismissed. Yeah, it's a very, very tough gig. There's things I did in my prison career, yeah, where officers I work with of long standing have said, you need to learn to keep your gob shut, yeah? A comment a good while ago from somebody in a London jail, first comment, you'd never survived a London jail. Jail's jail, mate, yeah? However, he said, we didn't put up with your sort, you'd have been out and he'd have got a beating off us. That's prison officer telling me if I'd have been in a London jail, speaking out against inappropriate behaviour, I'd have had a beating. So there you go, guys. I'll do a vlog towards the end of the week. Uh, got an interview midweek with Mark Pittsmore Owl, Wednesday, Thursday, two parts. Um, so there you go. Hope you have a good weekend. Or well, you've had a reasonable weekend. It's been shite weather. Uh, look after yourselves. Thanks again for continued support. Uh, thanks for coming. Parting shot as always. There you go, Mr. Patient. I'll see you there.